Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing another review roundup. I think I've only done one technical review roundup before. I think I started a playlist for it. But essentially, this is where I'm going to be doing like quick little bite-sized reviews of products that wouldn't really, you know, warrant a full video on their own. So I have concealer, foundations, face palettes, powders, blushes, eyeshadows. We've got a lot to go through, so let's just go ahead and jump in. The first product is actually a product I've had and loved for a long time, but I just recently found a new use for it that I'm loving enough to want to bring up again, and that's Dermacol. So this is Dermacol Makeup Cover. It is a super, super, super duper full coverage. Technically, it's a foundation. Personally, I, since I don't deal with like really big like cystic breakouts. I have like little breakouts, like I've got one bad one over here that I covered up, I've got one down here that I covered up with Dermacol. So I really just use this to spot conceal. But recently I've been loving this as an under eye concealer. This has lasted me for so long. I think this tube was like 10 or $13 on Amazon and I've had this for years. It has not turned and you only need to use a tiny, teeny, teensy bit amount of product for your, literally, your full face. So what I do is I did find a trick. So in order for me to use this under my eyes, if I'm spot concealing, I can just take it from the tube and just put on and spot conceal. But if I wanna use this either as an eye primer or under my eyes, what I have to do is first take it out of the tube and put it on the back of my hand. It has to be warmed up, I've found in my experience, in order for it to work well under my eyes and as an eye primer. I am still fully testing it as an eye primer because I've already identified formulas that this works well with as an eye primer and then formulas that this works terribly with. So I still need to do a little bit more testing there, but as an under eye concealer, this is amazing. And you really only need a little bit. I take a little bit, warm it up in the back of my hand, apply it, let it sit for two seconds, blend it out with a sponge. Mwah. Perfect full coverage. So next is going to be a quick review of two foundations that I picked up, and they're both luxury foundations. First I have the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Foundation, and this is in, it's like the lightest shade I think actually. Nope, it's not. It's in light two, so not the lightest shade surprisingly. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, and this is in the shade one, which I believe is actually the lightest shade. So I picked these two up because I had a 20% off foundation coupon and I really wanted to try these out. <laughs> I have to say, the Charlotte Tilbury is actually surprising me. I actually really like this foundation. I've used it at least a dozen times so far. I really like the applicator, this little, what is this called, a spigot? Not a spigot. Words, Monica. Pump, thank you. I really like the pump on this. I love the packaging on this. The foundation, it's a really nice satin to powder finish, I've noticed. It actually can dry down on its own, which is surprising for me, because I always set my foundation, no matter what. So I've noticed that with this, I really don't have to set my full face. I could just set like right here in order to do, you know, contour, bronzer, blush. And I'm really liking it so far. <laughs> I don't like the high price tag, but again, keep in mind, I got 20% off of this when I purchased it from Sephora. Again, like the previous foundation, I got 20% off of this um, Pat McGrath one when I purchased it from Sephora. And I have to say, I really like this on its own. I've been testing this with different concealers and everything. I have to say, I have not tested this with both the Pat McGrath concealer and the Pat McGrath powder, both of which I do have in my collection. I need to pull them all out and actually do a full day wear test with all of them together, because separately, I love all the products. So either I'm going to love them all together, or they're going to they're gonna create like a, a cluster fuck, and it's going to be terrible. I don't know. Who knows? But I cannot wait to try that out with this, because so far I've been loving this foundation. This I do have to set this foundation. It is a gorgeous medium satin coverage foundation medium coverage satin finish is what i was trying to say <laughs> foundation and i'm shocked at how much I, I like both of these because i've tried other like luxury foundations in the past that have just left me looking crusty and terrible and oily and these have both been really good and like part of me is like not believing it because it's like i just tried two foundations out and they're both good like, wait, what's what's the catch? You know, what's 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 the catch? What's the sitch? But so far, <laughs> they're both fantastic. Ooh. That being said, I've had these both for about three weeks now. I've been using them quite a lot, almost every day, you know, to be quite honest. So once I actually get to the point where either I'm halfway done or maybe even when I finish them, they'll either be in an empties video or an upcoming video just reviewing them. Next, we have a loose powder that 
kind of impresses me, but not for the price, you know? This is the Kylie Loose Powder. I have to say, it works really well. I've tried this with a bunch of concealers, the, um, you know, drugstore concealers, for the Dermacol, for the higher-end concealers. It works really well and looks fantastic on my under eyes. I can also use this to set the rest of my face. Today, I use this to set my under eyes as well as my nose, basically my T-zone. I set with this powder. Looks fantastic. It works really well. But I have to say, for the amount of product I'm getting and for how much it costs, I'm not going to be repurchasing this. I have to say, I'm glad I tried it out and I'm glad it's a good product, but I just know that there are more affordable products, just more affordable products that work just as well, if not better, than this one. So I'm glad I tried it. I am going to finish this. I'm like halfway through with this, but I'm not going to be repurchasing it. Now, I believe I have sung this palette's praises in quite a few other videos, but I don't think I've done a full review on this yet. And this is from Midas Cosmetics. This is the Midas Cosmetics and Neon MUA face palette. So I got the lightest shade, which is the Dawn palette. I adore this face palette. So first, let's talk about packaging. Packaging is stunning. It is cardboard, but it feels really nice. I like that it's recyclable and still feels good. Huge mirror up here on the top. Mine's a bit dirty. Please ignore that. And then we've got the shades. So I've used this so many times. And honestly, the only downside that I've noticed is that whenever I go into my contour or my bronzer, the shade can kind of bust up and give a little bit of fallout to my highlighter shade. But then all I have to do is like go over the, oh, it's so creamy, go over the highlighter shade with my finger just to get the rest of the fallout out. That being said, I love these shades. The The formula is great. I've used this, I think, for a month straight when I first got it. It is fantastic. I love the tone of what the bronzer and the contour. I did not think I was going to like the, the blush as much as I do. Like, I thought it'd be a little bit too hot pink for me, but it works beautifully. And the highlighter is blinding, and it's like literally, like, if I touch, it's the most creamy highlighter I've ever, <laughs> ever touched. It is stunning. It is amazing. It is spectacular. I love this so much and I'm so glad I picked up this palette and I really recommend they have four different palettes for different skin tones I'd really recommend if you're interested in trying anything from Midas Cosmetics I would recommend this even over their eyeshadow palettes because they do have a decent eyeshadow formula but this I do like their face powder formula over their eyeshadows and I'm actually wearing their eyeshadows today I'm wearing the or most of what I'm wearing on my eye is the pumpkin spice latte quad all right, next I've got two products that I was dying to try for so long and I finally picked it up during the last Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and that is the Cover FX Blush Duos. I picked up two of them in Soft Peach and Mojave Mauve. So this is Soft Peach and this is Mojave Mauve. These are stunning. I am of course too light to use the shimmery shades as a highlighter but on deeper complexions how stunning is that i use these as a shimmery blush topper and oh my god these are gorgeous keep in mind i did purchase these for 19 dollars each so it wasn't the full price i you know to be quite honest i would not buy these at full price but for 19 dollars each these are stunning i i love them they're beautiful additions to my blush collection and i think i picked up the perfect shades because i love peach i love peach blushes and then when i do go for more pinky toned blushes which is why the blush in the dawn face palette surprised me so much because when i go towards peach blushes i go towards these like darker more mauve -y toned blushes instead and they're gorgeous and i do love the way that the um, formula is imprinted in the pan for the shimmery sides i've put my brush into these quite a bit and they still look like beautiful. Like I could still take pictures of these and they would look nice on my Instagram. <laughs> They're fantastic. I, I love these. Again, I would buy these on sale. I can't justify like the what, the 30 something dollar price for these full price. Just, I wish these were the $19 all the time because that's the perfect price point for these. Next we have eyeshadows. So this is a bit of a sidebar because I've already reviewed this eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow formula. I'll throw the video up in the cards if you missed it. But this is one of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist shadows. So this is actually a shade I hadn't used as often as the other shades in my review video. This is in the shade 5. And this is the bright pumpkin orange that I'm wearing on my lids today. This is fantastic. <laughs> I love this shade. Again, I gave a glowing review of all of these shades in my review video. But like, I just particularly, I've been loving this orange look. I've been wearing this orange look like almost every day for like two weeks. I love spoopy season i love pumpkins i love orange i'm, I'm living i'm fall 
cozy living if you couldn't tell by my background but this has been the perfect lid topper i've been doing different looks using different oranges from midas cosmetics from ColourPop cosmetics from ludicton cosmetic labs uh i've just been loving this as like my lid shade and it's fantastic so i just wanted to give a shout out to this cover girl exhibitionist shadow in the shade five because it is all everything you need for your pumpkin spice dreams all right, so unfortunately now I have to give something a really bad review. Something that I was so excited for. This is the NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Palette in the shade Warm Rust. I was so excited for this palette. I had so many people hype this palette up to me, but whoa, was this a disappointment. <laughs> The shades really aren't pigmented. It was really hard to work with this palette. I was expecting something like with the way this, this is organized in two columns. I was expecting to get a really pretty gorgeous look with like minimal effort. But even like it took me a long time, like over half an hour working with the shadows. They're not pigmented. It takes a while to build them up and I'm left with a look that's like, wow, you spent that much time doing that? Yikes. Mm yikes so unfortunately i might have to call this a dud like i i'm i'm shocked i waited so long and i maybe i think maybe my expectations got a bit hyped for this but I, i'm shocked at how bad the shadows are but then again i did get this palette because my friend decluttered it so maybe i should have listened to victoria when she decluttered it but you know what i'm glad i got the test it for myself all right and last but not least let's end on a positive note a palette that i have been loving lately like the good millennial i am this is the bh cosmetics avocado toast palette oh my god i love this palette so huge package uh, huge packaging huge mirror gorgeous packaging there's little avocados everywhere and these shades are stunning the greens are fantastic i've done so many green looks in this palette i love the deep kind of berry moms you have over here this is such a varied palette this reminds me of like a better more vamped up Too faced peach perfect palette or the sweet peach palette excuse me this is like what the, the sweet peach could have been. Like we've got blues, we've got greens, we have pinks, we have uh, mauves, burnt siennas. This is such a great palette. Only thing that I do know is that if you're going to go with any of these shimmers on your lid, you need a glitter glue, which I'm not opposed to using. The NYX one is my favorite, but I love this palette and I'm so glad I got it. I didn't jump on this when it first came out. It is still available. I got this at Ulta. This is such a great palette. I love the aesthetic. I love the shades. It works fantastic. And I would definitely recommend this. So there we go. Some nice quick reviews. And before anyone asks, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be down in the comments, the lipstick I am wearing is from the Sophia Nygaard and ColourPop collab. And this is in the shade Bury Me in Lipstick. So this is supposed to dupe the shade that she got from her big lipstick video. I believe it was the Franken lipstick. It's really pretty. Maybe not with this eye look. It's a little warm but i wanted to wear it it looks cute so thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below if you've tried any of these products out before and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye